Hello, welcome. It's time for our daily reflection again as we make our way through some of the prayers of the Bible and um, we're learning to pray for others in particular. And so we come to John chapter 17 where Jesus prays for his disciples uh, and indeed for the whole world. Um, the uh, It's sometimes known as uh, Jesus' high priestly prayer simply because he stands before God and, and prays for his people. Uh, though that's not particularly in the text. If you've not had a chance to read John chapter 17, um, it's probably worth just pausing the video now uh, and have a quick read um, and then uh, come back to where we are. I'm going to draw attention to a, a cup, just a couple of verses. There's a there's a hundred sermons worth of material and more, I think, in just in this one chapter. Um, so we're, we're going to highlight just this uh, couple of things here. Uh, so verses 20 and 21, Jesus prays, I am praying not only for these disciples, that is, the, the disciples that are there with him in the upper room the, the, the night he was betrayed. I'm praying not only for these disciples, but also for all who will ever believe in me through their message. I pray that they will all be one, just as you and I are one, as you are in me, Father, and I am in you. And may they be in us so that the world will believe you sent me. What a prayer. He's praying for, for all believers everywhere. He's praying for you and me. This is Jesus praying to the Father 2,000 years ago for you and me. And astonishing. And there are a number of things that he prays for. He prays that we would be one, even as the Father and Son are one. Um, we could explore that, but uh, that would take more than a... A brief uh, daily reflection that's for sure but we're to be one we're to have unity his prayer is that the church would have unity uh, and we're to be in the son and the father uh, so our walk with him is to be uh, close that we're to reflect him be like him and have this uh, union just as the father and son have union uh, together we are to have a union with with him um, and the purpose of that is so that uh, the world would believe so there are kind of three things that uh, jesus is praying for uh, in relation to, to you and me here today in our coronavirus situation he prays that we would have unity uh, and so we want to give thanks uh, as we um, look at the situation we're in we want to give thanks for the enabling technology uh, that we've got the technology that's allowed us to um, to have Zoom prayer meetings and coffee mornings and quizzes, but also then to have services uh, streamed and and all those sort of things. But the the way that we've been able to keep in touch, so the WhatsApp group, um, the the telephone calling that's going on, um, some of the people doing the telephone callings, um, telephone calls once or twice. Um, didn't know the person that they were about to ring so the, there's actually been a growth we're more in contact in many ways now than we were um, before isolation started we want to give thanks for the unity and the um, the enabling technology and um, we also then want to pray that each of us would have a closer walk with the lord Our daily reflections have helped a lot in that um, uh, and uh, and people have been sharing verses and encouraging one another and praying for one another. Uh, and that's been absolutely super. Uh, so let, let's maintain that um, uh, that walk with the Lord. Uh, and then uh, the third thing he prays for is that uh, that we would be in him, uh, in his, the Son and the Father, uh, so that the world would believe uh, that um, the Father sent the Son into the world. So... There's an element of, of witness and um, wanting to, to live out our faith before others. So in terms of things to pray for, we want to give thanks for the enabling technology and pray for increased unity. We want to uh, pray for a main, uh, that we'd maintain a close walk with the Lord individually. And we want to pray uh, that we'd live out our, our, our Christian lives before others. These are the things that we want to bring before the Lord. Uh, so let's do that now. Our righteous Father, we thank you for your great goodness to us. We thank you for our salvation in Christ. 
that we are one in him and that that's a spiritual reality that nothing and no one can change. We thank you then for the enabling technology that has helped us to realise that unity uh, in ways that each of us can see and experience. Uh, we have varying uh, technological capabilities, we know, Lord, but we thank you that you have enabled us to use what we have to keep in touch, to maintain that unity and love. We pray, Lord, that you'd help us to, to, to maintain that and keep that uh, going, even as we come out of lockdown. We pray too, Father, that we would keep a, a close walk with you. May the Spirit work in us. Uh, and as we start to fill our days with other things, uh, going out of the house and doing different things, uh, we pray that we would maintain a close, close walk with you. And we pray that that would happen so that others would see the hope that we have in you, the confidence we have in this broken world, in this confused, lost world. Lord, our prayer is that many people would see the hope that we have in you, the confidence we have in you, and uh, seek that for themselves, seek you for themselves. So, our Father, please do your great work, grow your kingdom, uh, and we pray that your name would be honoured in the people of Brumbra, the people of Wirral, uh, for the honour of your name, in Jesus' name. Amen.